Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and the Fur Legged Friend series. It's Abigail here. And as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be about four questions you should ask yourself before getting a dog. So I wanted to um, get this video up before um, the holidays because I know a lot of people are thinking of getting dogs as presents for their loved ones. And I wanted to just make sure and put my two cents out there how much of a big life decision that is because I don't think a lot of people really grasp how important and life-changing a dog is. There's just a lot of people that think that giving pets as gifts is just such like a loving way to show to someone that you care and is just an amazing gift. But at the same time, people don't really understand that this pet or dog is going to grow up into a big <laughs> hairy beast, maybe if you get a Pyrenees or something, or you know, this this puppy is just gonna get bigger and a lot of people just get overwhelmed and don't realize that this is gonna be a lot of work so a lot of rescues and shelters do um, see an increase in admissions and abandonments because people decided that they don't want to deal with it or that they can't handle it so i just wanted to make sure that you are making the right decision for you and your family that a dog is the right choice. So if you are interested in seeing what I have to say about this, or if you're interested in this video, then please keep on watching. First question you should ask yourself is what kind of temperament do I want my dog to have? When I say temperament, it's basically their personality and behavior. A lot of people, um, when they are thinking of getting a dog, they think of a specific breed. So research that breed, check out, you know, its personality, their behavior, their learning curve, their lifespan, their medical conditions, um, their history, because that plays a lot of part in their behavior and their personality, because it's like what they were bred for. Also, do not get a dog specifically just for their looks because that is one of the biggest mistakes people get is because they are so enamored with this dog's like beauty but they don't realize that they have certain personality traits and um, or just characteristics or behaviors that aren't as pretty as they thought they would be. Okay, so the second thing you need to think about is grooming. I'm a groomer so I wanted to throw this in and it's actually a very important um, piece that people don't really think about. Um, you need to think about just how much time and money you are willing to invest in your dog's skin and coat. Do you want something that's low maintenance? Or are you okay with something high maintenance? Um, think about just the lifestyle that you're living too but that's in the fourth thing that I'm going to be talking about. But yeah just if you want something that's low maintenance, get a dog that's short coated. If you're okay with brushing daily, then a Shih Tzu or a Husky is fine with you. Just think about the amount of hair that you're gonna have in your house and how much willingness you have of keeping your house clean. The number one issue that I see the most is just shedding or hair. So if you're okay with a lot of hair and are okay with cleaning your house a lot, then having a big hairy dog is okay. Think about like short coated dogs versus long coated dogs, double coated dogs. Um, a lot of people don't think about the type of hair that is going to be happening or the amount of hair that's going to be happening in their lives once they get an animal. So just think about how hairy literally do you want your life to be? The third question is how committed are you to giving your dog a good quality life? You're gonna have to feed them. You're gonna have to take them out for exercise. Um, you're gonna have to take them to their vet visits or emergency vet visits and this takes a lot of time and money to do it. Your dog might have a specific diet that it needs or you know like supplements when they get older and those are the things that you're just gonna have to think about and there could be some medical conditions that you uh, 
um, that arise that you weren't prepared for. So you're going to have to be committed to giving them all of these things in a long period of time. And lastly, will a dog fit in with your lifestyle? Think about the kind of lifestyle you have. Um, for instance, do you travel a lot? If you do, that's probably not a good time to get a dog because you're going to need to spend some good quality time with your dog. And if you're gone a lot, that's not really a good combination. Unless you're able to take your dog with you on all your adventures, then you pretty much have a travel buddy. So by all means, go for it. Are you someone who's um, a couch potato, who likes to stay more indoors? Then maybe think about getting a dog that's a little bit more low energy and that is okay with, you know, watching movies with you and cuddling up on the couch. By the way, a lot of dogs do like to do that, even the high energy ones, but there are some dogs that are more inclined to do that, like mine. Or are you someone that's more active? Do you like to run? Do you like to go hiking? Then um, maybe a bulldog is not for you. So just think of those types of situations and if you picture a dog in there. <laughs> a key thing to remember is to get a dog that matches your energy level. Don't get a dog that is a higher energy level than you unless you are willing to meet its energy level and give it its um, the ample exercise and um, attention that it needs. The best way to go about it is just to have the same energy level as your dog because that is the best way to live in harmony because things will just go seamlessly and you'll have the same activity levels and yeah, you'll live a pretty good life. So those are the four questions that you should ask yourself before getting a dog. I hope that you guys found this video helpful and if you think anyone that can benefit from it, please bring them on over or share this video with them. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also follow me on Instagram. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.